we got to beat somebody good. How do you how do you continue to get top players to keep coming here? Uh, there's a lot of things that, that come into play. You know, we have a great campus, great academic reputation of of, of Quinnipiac. Um, I think it really helps that we win. You know, we've gone 18 years division one. We've never had a losing season. I think that's kids want to go where they know they're going to win. Uh, not only are we winning, but we've, we were a top 20 program for a long time there, and now we're a top 10, top five program. And we have a great culture, and it's just we recruit great character kids, and it's a fun place to play. A great facility. Well, I mean, Jack McDowell yeah. told us he was sitting there in his seat one day and said, "Oh my God, we have the best facility in college." Yeah, it's one of the best ranks in college hockey. It certainly helps. Um, I talked to Jack actually this morning. He's referring to us as his Frozen Three because he's he's been at. BC, he's been at Denver, he's been at Quinnipiac, so we got to get him a job at North Dakota. And <laughs> you never know it, Jack. Go, but yeah, but no, certainly our rink is uh, it's phenomenal, and we get all the resources and support we need. Would you have ever dreamed that back in May of '94, when you were hired, you take over a Division III program, uh, you'd be able to put in place what you put in place? Not in May of '94. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you know, we had a we had a midnight practice slot, and I was part time. I was teaching at a high school. Like I was. I was in survival mode. Uh, that first year, we didn't really have enough players to play with. I think we had 17 skaters come to tryouts and 12 goalies. In year two, we brought in 19 freshmen, and we were kind of off and running. We, we just needed that big recruiting class to get us going. But um, you know, we didn't have a budget. We had we, we couldn't give the kids sticks. Uh, we couldn't feed the kids on the road, and we didn't want to for meals and stuff right. like that. It was it was really low end. Are, are you glad you've never gone anywhere and changed? Absolutely, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I think uh, there's nothing wrong with being loyal. Um, Quinnipiac's been very loyal to me. They treat me really well. I have, I have a, you know, nice secure contract, and they take care of me. So it's a great place to work. Um, you know, I've been 20, 22 years in, and, and most likely I'll probably be here about another 20. You want to be the guy that's going to be on the bench for you know 35, 40 years? Yeah, you never, you never look at everything. You don't, you don't know exactly what's going to happen with your life. But I, I mean, I love it here. Um, you know, we, I have a, I have a two and a half year old now. So my wife tells, you know, when he was born, she's like, y you're going to have to work till he's 22 to get him through Quinnipiac yeah. for free. So <laughs> I got at least, these, I got another 20 years to get him through yeah. school. Uh, but it really is, a, it's a great place to work. Uh, you know, I Jack McDonald for 20 of my 22 years. Now we have Greg Amodio. Yeah. The new AD, he's phenomenal. Uh, I couldn't be happier with with Greg, Billy Mecca, John Leahy, Mark Thompson. They're all just great people to work with, and it's really a, a, an awesome place to work. So I feel very fortunate. Well, uh, thanks for coming in. I appreciate Thank it. Good luck. Best, best luck down there. It'll be uh, number one Quinnipiac against preseason number one Boston College Thursday, five o'clock in Tampa.